afternoon, everyone. Uh, I will speak about uh, methods that we can use to curb um, hate on the internet. And I will refer to the experience of our project, Internet Without Hate. So let me start with hate. What is hate? What to us meaning to the, our project, hate is any insulting behavior on the internet. And it may take different forms. It could be a comment, a post, a picture, a video. It could be music recording. Hate can affect anyone. Hate may be against minorities when this is a hateful speech. But hate can be about anyone, about one of the kids in the class. And you don't really need to be fo to focus on some specific features of that development. You cannot think why this person is hated. Is there a lot of hate in the internet? Yes and no. During the first plenary session, We've heard from Professor Przalski that sometimes we look only at the bad things and we cannot see beyond. But studies show that there is not that much hate on the internet. If you take everything, it's just a small fraction of things that are available on the internet. But even if there is less hate, then it could be very harmful. So the sort of kill probability or hit probability of hate is relatively high. Hateful speech is a very special form of uh, hate. But we decided to take a broader approach. We don't focus on hateful speech. We understand that this is important, but we want to educate about reducing hate at large, not just hate speech. So the first conclusion, when it comes to education, more means better, meaning that more initiatives, more interventions, whether this is the Internet Without Hate project, or whether this is bookmarks handbook, or whether this is yet another project, the more, the better. The more projects we do, the better. Because there are different ways that help you get the message across to different groups. And now, for example, no hate campaign, but also hate stop, campaign that uh, covers all the insulting graffiti. So this is like a hate speech in the public space. Uh, Stop to hate speech is the campaign by the Batory Foundation, George Soros Foundation in Poland. You might have come across that on the internet. So as I said, the more, the better. Now. Our project, the Internet Without Hate. This is the list of ingredients. So first we run some studies or surveys. Uh, we actually spoke about uh, our studies last year, so I'm not going to repeat the same message. The findings are available at our website. After that, we launched the competition um, followed by the internet campaign, we developed class scenarios and we were present at two festivals where we demonstrated our our actions. And the another thing that we have in the pipeline is seminars. Seminars will be organized at the end of this year, at the beginning of the next year. So before I start discussing the competition, let me very briefly revisit our studies. So young people claim that hate 
is a very common thing on the internet. This hate is like air. There is no internet without hate. So for young people, it is taken for granted. On top of it, young people who took part in this qualitative study claimed that they don't know what hate speech is. They just were pretty clueless about it. So we need to explain it to them. Now, the competition. So the, the, the main claim was uh, operations de-hating. And our goal was to engage young people. We wanted to you to encourage them to use the internet tools to come up with some initiatives against hate and against hate speech. We had 46 applications, and out of this 46 proposals, we selected six winners. And I am very pleased to say that my successor will be a person who was behind one of these uh, initiatives. He's with us today, and he will um, speak about what he's done. To me, this is the true measure of success. This initiative is still out there. The, the competition came to the end at the beginning of this year, but some of these initiatives, not all 46, but some of them continue to live on the internet and continue to change the internet. So here is a list of categories. Some of the initiatives were fan pages. Some people made uh, short videos. Some artists uh, made websites. And uh, there were also some blogs. This is our winning fan page. But uh, we will hear the details from the next speaker. Now, let me discuss the campaign. Hug the haters. Hashtag. It may be surprising. Why hug or what? Well, because the whole purpose was to make people think, you know, if someone hates you, why should you hug him or her? Just the other way around. You should fight against them. Well, our point is that we should not uh, respond with aggression, but it's really worthwhile to react and to respond. This is uh, an example that I always use when I speak about hate. When someone insults me face to face, well, if I turn back my back on him, he or she can see my reaction, my disagreement. But when someone hates me on the internet and I don't say anything, they don't see any reaction, well, that's my point. That's why we should react. That's why we should respond to hate. Why sh should we make it clear that we do not accept it? Now, with this campaign, we set up the website, and this is the address hugthehater.pl and on this website we say what to do when you are hated where you can seek help this is the main message we had a video and, and a song the same title hug the hater and there are three performance Um, so free artists. And the video is obviously available on the YouTube. This is the whole team that contributed to the production of the um, of our video and the music. This is the poster of our campaign. Um, our foundation is the publisher of Numa Numa magazine for young people. I'm not sure if you've ever come across it, but it, it was available in the lobby in our stand. Perhaps there are some copies left. This edition was about hate. 
So that would be enough about the campaign. Now, with our project, we developed class scenarios. And it's mostly about how to react to hate and hate speech. So far, we have developed two scenarios. No, three scenarios. One is for middle schoolers, and another one is for high school students. Very soon, we are going to come up with the third one that would be developed for the elementary school students. We also prepare e-learning materials about hate. The first scenario is uh, hug the hater. So we follow up on the campaign. We use the main messages of the campaign. But in the campaign, you're not, al you're not always able to communicate everything. So in the scenario, we get to the details. We explain to young people what hate is all about. We define hate speech. We explain how to cope with the internet hate. So how to react, this is key thing. And this is also something that was uh, mentioned during the first presentation, how to engage the witnesses. It is important to make sure that the witnesses react because you may speak to a victim or to the perpetrator, but the real power is with the witnesses. They may react against hate. So we explain the reasons, the consequences, and we offer some tips on how to react. The second uh, scenario is under the title, Instead of Hate. And again, we refer to the campaign messages. Uh, we develop that campaign together with the Disney Channel. Add a friend, that's a three minute video. And again, I recommend it to you. It is a very simple story that explains how easy it is to hate someone in the, on the internet and how far the consequences may go beyond the internet. So with this scenario, we developed a set of anti-hate policies or principles. So first, you need to react. But in terms of hate, it is also important that our reaction, although it seems innocent, can be aggressive. If we make, if we share something or if we like something, well, we you know do it indirectly, but nevertheless we contribute to hate. Another thing which is important in the context of hate well, is the thin line between hate and criticism. Many times, people who claim that we should not fight with hate because this is the freedom of speech, they often say that well, hate is about criticizing someone. And we are saying, no, there is a difference between constructive criticism and hatred. There are two different things. And we believe that we need to explain that to young people. Perhaps we should show them how to criticize, because criticism implies thinking and debating. And this is completely different from insulting. You explain why you disagree with something, and you don't insult. We've taken part in a number of festivals as well. And well, please uh, take a look at uh, or uh, material concerning or participation in different festivals, like, for example, the Opener Festival and the Woodstock, the Polish Woodstock Festival where together with them uh, we created an alternative version of the hug the hater video um, so 
go with the hashtag Przytul Hejtera and take a look at the video. So, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you.